What I all bought shopping today, 26 now, I'm an adult. You like being outside? Seriously, she always goes right to the door and like licks spider webs. What a strange cat. I love just sitting out here with Cheyenne in the mornings and just chilling on my phone, eating some breakfast. I ate my yogurt while I was making this because it kind of takes a long time to cut up the mangoes. Mangoes are so good, but they're so hard to cut up. So it's Wednesday, my day off from Walmart. Obviously it's summer vacation. I have the summer off from teaching. I'm not into summer school or anything like that. My friend Clarissa and I, were just gonna go to TG Maxx and Target and get a Starbucks drink. Shut again. Hey. Hey. Miss. Is that allowed? Shut again. Yeah, you get down. Yeah. As I was saying, the plan is we're gonna go to Target and TJ Maxx and then we'll probably go to Olive Garden for lunch, which is really exciting. I haven't had Olive Garden since probably February and it's one of my favorite places. Um, I'm known to eat like 10 breadsticks in one serving. I literally go, I get the soup, the salad, the breadsticks, and then I eat one thing of salad, two things of soup, and then like 10 breadsticks because I'm crazy like that and I like carbs. I know I'll have questions about this shirt. So in case you're wondering, this Be Kind shirt, it's actually embroidered on and then the flowers are screen printed. It's from Walmart. It's in the kids section. It was $12. I will link it down below. This is the kids 2X. So if you're like me and you wear like a medium or a large, normally in adult clothes, you probably can wear this. Um, granted, the sleeves are a little short, but normally on me, sleeves are short. And then these shorts are super cute. They're also Walmart. They're the Celebrity Pink, which is a brand that I think we bought off of JCPenney, so you probably can't find it in all Walmart stores. It just kind of varies. An interesting thing is Walmart is buying a lot of the clothing that JCPenney won't be selling anymore because a lot of their stores are going out of business because, hey, there's a pandemic, and Walmart doesn't have any clothes because all our clothes come from overseas, and then they ship them here. So... I'm gonna finish off my slow, lazy day, maybe do a little cleaning, and then eventually go shopping. Hopefully the Target Dollar Spot has some things. I'm looking for fraction pencils. There's a story map dry erase flip book sort of thing that can be put on your like easel or your whiteboard. I actually saw them on Putting Them First's YouTube haul. I haven't seen anyone else have them, so they're probably one of those rare unicorn things that most Targets don't have, so I probably won't get it. But yeah, that's pretty much all I think I need like teacher wise and then I just like to look at the clothes and look for that elf spray that I really like and yeah other sort of fun exciting things. So my principal just texted me and she was like hey are you coming to this meeting and I was like I don't know what you were talking about so it basically was just the school psychs, the SPED teachers, and the principals talking about the plan for SPED reopening. The plan isn't publicized yet or finalized really, but basically the plan is school as normal, distancing is recommended, but there's no way that we can actually enforce it because we don't have enough room in our classrooms. They mentioned they ordered enough face shields for the entire teaching staff. They haven't said yet if masks will be required, but I'm sure they'll require masks and shields for teachers and then just recommend it for students. I don't think they'll require it. Speaking of requiring masks, Walmart just announced that on Monday they're requiring masks for all customer shopping starting on Monday. So I think that's crazy. People are gonna be mad. I'm currently looking for a setting spray that actually sets the makeup. And when I put a mask on, it's not on the inside of the mask. And currently I am not successful. If you have any good suggestions, leave a comment down below. Okay, let's go to Target and meet Clarissa. What a boring math. I'm sorry, but this is all my clothing. Look so. at this. I know, it is quite hot. Feeling well? Stop. There's only like two things I actually want. This is like marriage stuff. Should we get married? Yeah. What are the little books? I used them last year and then quarantine happened. Oh, the erasers. Oh my gosh. Rocket ships, dinosaurs, unicorns and rainbows, cute pencils. Oh boy, oh boy. I like the multiplication one, and I like the circles number that equal to 10. I like the graph, 10 frames. What about UCP? Do you use any of that in high school? We use multiplication often. We 
use that too. So this is the one I really want. Get that one. I'm gonna. Are you getting both? Yeah. This is like L O I to a T. All we talk about is settings and plot and characters. Okay. You see what they're called? A blotter. Who calls this a blotter? Oh, look at that beauty. I don't need anything from here, so let's hope I don't get anything. I found something that I've been looking for for a long time at TJ Maxx. Stay for the end to see what it is. We're open! one of my dinners that has fallen in the Target parking lot. Oh, life is grand in my world. Life is great. You think the birds are gonna enjoy their dinner? They're definitely gonna like their chicken. Well, beef. well chicken teriyaki. I mean, it was like $8, so sad day for me. Hello, we are home now. You saw my dinner debacle in the Target parking lot. I literally was bringing my dinner from Clarissa's car into mine and then we were gonna run into Target just to get another coffee. Well, my dinner didn't make it, so I ended up having to get a coffee cake as well to have a little dinner. Um, I'm gonna go to the gym later tonight, but that's not why you're here. You are here to see what I all bought shopping today. We're just gonna start with the Target stuff first because I'm sure that's what the majority of you are here for. But there's also some other places that pleasantly surprised me. I actually went shopping last week a little bit after tubing and I only bought two things, a pair of pineapple sunglasses and a pair of leggings from Pink and that was it. This time I was a lot more successful. So let's get into the haul. So the very first thing we found was some little mini erasers. Unicorns and rainbows, rocket ships and astronauts, purple and green dinosaurs, and various color pencils. Those are all $1 each from the Target dollar spot. So I use these erasers in my classroom for manipulatives and also in my kind of classroom store. They can get one of these for a quarter of their classroom money. I have a picture on Instagram of all of the erasers I have, so I'll insert that somewhere over here. The next one, was one of the three things that I was looking for when I went to the Target dollar spot. I had three things in mind that I wanted and basically I was shopping with a purpose and for the most part it worked out. I got these activity boards. This is one of the math ones. This has things like 10 frames, multiplication charts, circle the numbers to 10, place value, addition equations, multiplication, number lines, just like all sorts of things that I use with students from kindergarten through fifth grade. So it's just a really good value for someone like me who's not only a special education teacher, K through five, but also is the interventionist and occasionally does math intervention groups. I also got one more centered towards reading. I think I saw four of these total, but I only grabbed one math one and one reading one. The other two didn't really apply to me that much. This one has the three characters, it has the setting, it has the plot, and that's what we talk about a lot in LLI, Level Literacy Intervention. And I use that with both intervention groups and with special education students. It also has this things like timelines and different writing graphs and um, drawing conclusions, outlining. So if you're doing some sort of writing activity, you can do your example where you have your outline with your one main idea, your two facts, that, that sort of thing. They also have like sequence charts, just a really good value for $5. So it's dry erase. They have these little clips so they can clip up things. I'm hopeful that it'll fit on top of my smart board. With some of my younger kids, I don't really use the smart board because it just gets in the way. They're too short to reach it or their elbows are touching the screen and it's just too difficult for them. Also, I have some that just draw all over the place and have no concept of what they should be doing because they just get so consumed with drawing fun things. So sometimes just like dry erase, it's just easier and it makes it go faster. So that was like one major thing I wanted. The other thing were these fraction pencils. So We've got the whole, two halves, three thirds, four fourths, two fifths. You get the picture. I think it'd be really cool to use for fourth and fifth graders once you get to the actual fraction unit, but until they are into the fractions, I'll just keep these nice and safe. This year I have one fifth grader and 
three fourth graders, but, but none of them receive math services in their IEPs, their either behavior or reading focus. But you never know what the intervention life will bring me. Outside of my door, I have one bulletin board. It's a pretty small one. And I like to put these about me activities or other just little crafts that could fill the board. Nothing too big. So this is super simple. You can draw your favorite colors, your favorite ice cream, what you were doing, your favorite subject, your favorite foods, your favorite TV show. And it's just a really good first day activity. Um, and I like to do that with my special education students and also any other students that just happen to be in my room a lot. Um, there's several students that just show up to my room just to hang out. So I mean, if they want to do one too, they're more than welcome to. I also have these really cute pencil clips. Above my smart board, I have kind of a clothesline and it has different um, explanations of things like historical fiction, fantasy, science fiction. My students use that when they're trying to identify like what kind of book it is. Uh, a lot of them can't come up with the word science fiction, but if they see the big long string of their options, they can choose that science fiction is... And right now it's just an assorted jumble of clips and I think I have enough to have them all be the same kind of clip. I think. If not, I guess I'll have to go back to Target. Oh no! I also got these adhesive pockets. I use these for my rainbow drawers, just various name tag related things. I know a lot of teachers use them for their name tags that go on their tables, but none of my students have name tags that are attached. They all have separate name tags that they can carry around to use when they're copying their names or using the multiplication chart or the colors that are on it. And then once they're past second grade, they really don't need a name tag anymore. So I don't personally use name tags unless they're a younger student who still needs the um, example of how their name is spelled or how the letters are formed. And that's it for Target. That's it. Nothing impulsive, nothing crazy, no pillows or random sparkly unicorn things. Well, I got erasers, but that doesn't count. So next we went to Michael's. Clarissa wanted to go. I told myself I didn't need anything, but we were wandering around the teacher area and I saw these for $2.99 a piece. They are a magnetic pocket. Now, they use the example of, I think they're various letters that are stored inside, but I don't need letters stored inside. Currently, my foundation sight words are all stored on one shared pocket chart, but this year I'll have kindergartners, first graders, and second graders that are all receiving literacy interventions in the form of foundations, which is a universal curriculum that we use. I have a lot of sight words flashcards just all over the place and it was very difficult for me to remember which one were the first grade ones and which ones were the second grade ones. And now you add in that I have the kindergarten ones this year as well, we need somewhere to store them. So I got three of these, they're magnetic and they should hopefully magnetize themselves to the board I use for foundation and then it'll be just a happy occasion. So after my goals, we went to TJ Maxx. I got this for $6.99. I'm gonna use this to organize my bedside table next to the bed, totally un classroom related, but I just thought I would show you because it's near me. If you followed me before, if not, hello. I've been looking for a purse for a long time. The current purse I have is like eight years old. I've just been looking for a really good crossbody, but also one that's like more my age because like, oh my gosh, I'm 26 now, I'm an adult. So I found this Michael Kors purse at TJ Maxx originally. The Michael Kors price is $140, TJ Maxx was selling it for $79.99, but it has this little dirty mark right here, so it's on clearance for $52. And I'm honestly a slob, I'll probably end up spilling something on it in the meantime, and I haven't even tried washing it off, so maybe it'll just wash off itself, and hello, new purse for $52. My favorite wallet fits in it, it's very adult, it's very in, it's a very nice color, so I'm looking forward to using it, and sadly, my old purse, it's time to go to the trash because you are falling apart and you are filthy. Goodbye. Hello, new purse. So we have a home goods right next to our TJ Maxx, so we always go to home goods after TJ Maxx. And the theme of adulting continues. We have a nice little fruit bowl with the little hook for the bananas for $5.99. And something I follow on Instagram is really into plantain chips and that's not something I can ever get a hold of because we don't have Trader Joe's or Whole Foods or anything like that. We've got Walmart, we've got Target, and we've got Festival Foods and that's it. So Home Goods, Home Goods, yes Home Goods, had these plantain strips naturally sweet. So I imagine when I'm done with my coffee cake I'm gonna be hungry soon and I'll uh, probably eat like literally half this bag because when I start eating chips I can't stop unless they're bad then we won't finish the whole bag. And then last but not least we also have these drawers, um, I'll turn a picture of how I was measuring these right here. Literally, I stuck my hand in the drawer this morning, 
tried to decide how big it was and then went to the store, used my hand again to measure and I think one of these will fit and the second one I don't think I need but I'll find something to do with it just to keep my straws and like blender bottle sort of stuff organized and not just in a hot mess in this drawer and then we went to the mall, wandered around for like two hours, my friend Clarissa got so many things and all I found was this $3 JCPenney dress, I'm sure it's like a Christmassy one but for three dollars we could not pass it up. This bag is filthy. It basically got the full brunt of my dinner as the dinner was falling out of the bag. So I'm gonna go throw this away. But classroom news wise I got really great news. August 3rd we're gonna be allowed back in our classrooms and honestly if I asked my janitor earlier they said I might be able to get in so Probably not next Wednesday because I have to be on an interview team. Leave a comment down below if you're interested in seeing a video from the perspective of someone who's being the interviewer. Uh, we have four applicants for the fourth grade position that we've dwindled down from 20 who initially applied. So I'm going to be helping with the interviews for that next week and I'm pretty excited. So leave a comment down below if you're interested in seeing a video about that. Maybe I can give some tips on interviewing over the internet or that sort of thing. But. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to end this video, go to the gym, and uh, eat my coffee cake. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, so you can continue seeing more awesome content. Woo!